that jab. A lot more defense, and they want him to work the body, as you suggested, Steve. Here Guerrero trying to come in behind the jab, but Diaz just not there. As he, he turns, just steps around, steps back, looking for openings, picks off those shots on the gloves. Now looking to counter. Guerrero fighting low again. Look at Diaz trying to suck the Guerrero in, waiting, waiting. Now go after him. In a way that Valdez, Adrian Valdez, never did in the last fight. He was content to try to counter Guerrero. He has so much more experience going seven or more. We're in the seventh round. And he does have three KOs, Diaz, in those ten fights. So he can finish his opponent late. As can Guerrero. We saw that against uh, uh, Sanchez and uh, Valdez. Steve, does Diaz really have to do a lot differently, let's face it, to win a decision coming out of Mexico here in California? Well, that's a, that's a good question, Nick, because uh, clearly this is a Guerrero crowd. And as the fight progresses, the Guerrero is more in boxing mode now. It makes it a little harder to score the fight. It really does. But bottom line, if Diaz doing enough to certainly hang in this fight and be ahead in this fight, right? Well, he's got to rally over the second half, for sure. He can't let it slip away. To win any other guy's hometown, you have to win convincingly. Shouldn't be that way, but reality is that's the way it is. We're waiting now, trying to read the movements of Diaz. Maybe try to counter him so he's not first anymore with that jab. He'll start out that way in the rounds. There he is again, though, trying to pick it up off the jab. It really is a waiting game on both parts. But Diaz just keeps, again, it's the second and third shots that are landing for him. So he's doing a better follow-up job. Diaz a little wild now, lunging, but Guerrero didn't make him pay. Hit him with one counter there, smacked him with a left hand. Guerrero trying to control tempo distance here. The past the halfway mark, scheduled for 12. Guerrero is unbeaten. Diaz is red hot. He's won 18 straight. Diaz says, let's fight. But Guerrero's doing a nice job boxing right now. He is. Not much on the punches, but he's landing there this round. Guerrero with a nice left in return as he avoids shots beautifully and countered with perfection. Best punch of the fight right there for Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Best moves there as we close out the seventh. Big. Guerrero needed that round and he apparently got it. The guy doesn't want to fight anymore. He, he's doing it for a way out. Don't give him space. Don't give him space. You gotta, don't, don't, don't give him space. If you, if you give him rest, you let him get back in it. He's the eighth round. He wants to fall on. He wants to fall on. Listen to me. This is action late in round seven. Guerrero, straight left hand with Diaz's right, just a little bit down. Wasn't real low. Well, it kind of was real low now that I look at it a second time. And unfortunately for Guerrero, there was no time left. That was inside of 10 seconds. Couldn't be any follow-up. Guerrero, they got a little stare down here. As referee Dan Stell. Gets him started here. Round number eight. Interesting, Steve, that Diaz's father would say Guerrero is basically looking for an excuse to not quit, but he's. I don't see anybody losing any conviction. No, I, I think that's just a corner man trying to pump up his guy. But also telling him, hey, don't uh, get too aggressive or overly aggressive and get stupid. But I agree with you, Steve. Diaz has to really put together some offense. To continue hanging in this fight and maybe squeaking fast. Well, Diaz uh, has done his best work counterpunching, and because Guerrero is a little less anxious now and backing up, 
He has not, he has, has not as many offensive opportunities. He has just poked him with a nice right hand again. Seems to know when to squeeze that trigger. Not a high volume puncher, but he economizes very nicely. Here he comes up to Guerrero. Guerrero sticks the jab out. He's missing, but he gets hit with a left counter. But Diaz finding a home with that left. He's squared up and moving in on Guerrero. Guerrero's in front of us against the ropes. Guerrero with a welt under his left eye. Diaz rubbing up his attack a little bit. Diaz got a cold load of confidence. He does. And he's been, been very cool and calm this whole fight. But no changes in expression and very under control. Absolutely. Steve, if reputation didn't precede either guy, and this was in neutral territory, I defy anybody to say that Robert Guerrero was ahead. Great point. No, 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 no. Oh, careful with the knee there, Diaz. No. Listen up. You understand me? This was a false report. Let's go. Next time he'll deduct the point was the word. Now it's in fighting. Bring him up. Gets his power smothered. See the, see the welt there under his left eye again. Bring him up. Diaz with a straight right that landed. Guerrero with a low blow with the left. But Guerrero definitely frustrated here. He's just off his game. A little right from Diaz. Nothing real serious, but he's shooting those punches and landing more. Guerrero is in this eighth. See if we get set for the corner. What do you talk Guerrero at this point? Well, the one thing you can't let him get is this guy. No, no, stop! He's got stop. to turn stop. it up. He's got to yeah, show everybody go. why he's considered special. Sparring and in the ring, two very different things. Come on, don't lose your head. I already okay. told you. Don't lose your head. You got to throw abnormal punches. You throw outside punches, you got to throw them straight, straight punches. You got to be first. Push him back, rough him up a little bit. You got, you got to dig deep, son. You got to dig deep. Constant pressure and you're working from the bottom to the top. Steve, certainly Guerrero's not in jeopardy, but we spoke before the fight that he's never dealt with adversity. He's had a dose of it here. His things aren't going his way. What about plan B, plan C that John Gray Step talked back. about? Box. Or just keep, stay on that jab and continue to utilize the skills that took you this far? Well, I, you know, he's a confident fighter. I don't think confidence is lacking in Guerrero. Whoa, he just got hit with a big right hand. He needs adjustments, though. He does, and, and his corner, Bray, said, you know, pressure, constant pressure. That's not the way Guerrero's been fighting the last two, three rounds. Right. Let's see if he changes and starts walking toward his man. He is. He's coming forward. He is. He's having Hello, to stop. oblige. Hey, hey. Let's, right hit. Let's go. Bob booing Guerrero, I believe, for that late hit. Nice body attack from Guerrero. Diaz is very tricky. The style that's making things difficult for Guerrero. Stop. Putting Stop enough Stop offense up. together. But just keeping Guerrero out of off his rhythm, it's just he's just off his game. This is getting really dramatic, man, because this would be a big upset if Guerrero gets beat. I have him down two points right now with four to go. He's coming out with more urgency here. So is Diaz. Sitting down in his punches a little bit here. Nice left counter from Guerrero. He doesn't follow up, but he got Diaz's attention and respect there as he backs off. Another left from Guerrero. Important round for Robert Guerrero. He hit Diaz low and then turned him around Stop. with that right hook. Go back, go back. Here you go, Fox. Right, 
is just hanging that left out. Now Guerrero. Stop! Step back, step back. No, no, no. Accelerating no. his no. offense. Big round for him. Yeah, it's Guerrero's round, no doubt, man. And it's interesting that it's his round when he's been coming forward. It's his first time coming forward in two or three rounds. Huh? Out comes Diaz. Both of them move up and try again. Guerrero wraps with the jab. Back comes Diaz with an overhand right, but nothing flushes landing. Diaz short with his shots. Nice one-two from Guerrero. Another one-two counter from Guerrero. It's funny, Nick, I said at the top. Let's see some diversity. I don't want to see just one-twos from Guerrero. Right now, that's what's working, though. It's an exciting main event here. Showtime Boxing. It's on the inside. He wants to get rough. You got to get rough right with him. You understand me? Are you a warrior? Show me that. It's still, son. He's yours. Take it out. He's yours. Take it. That's perfectly put. Man, they're ready to go. Guerrero is box. Even more ready. Will he turn it up a notch? Diaz really doing very little different. He's been consistently frustrating Guerrero most of the night. Guerrero made those adjustments, Steve, as you mentioned, coming a little bit more forward in the ninth round and supposedly winning it. Oh, oh. Guerrero's uh, bruised under both eyes now. I like what Gray said to Guerrero in the corner. Are you a warrior? Show me. That's what he needs. You know, there comes a time in a fight sometimes where skills become secondary to will. No, stop! Go back. Let's go. Yeah. Back on the arms. That's like you've always said that this goes 12. This is like 12 mini fights, and that's how a judge has to look at it. And that's good because if you look at the welts under Guerrero's stop. eyes, you'd stop. say, hey, this stop guy's back. getting the worst stop of it. Back. But Box. the scorecards are already in the books after each round, of course. Right. But it is very close. That's a safe assumption. I would, I would think so. I have There's no safe that assumptions. Point. I, I uh, <laughs> yeah, modify <right>. that. Yeah. <laughs> we know better after all these years, right? There's the one-two from Guerrero. Slips nicely, comes up short with that left, and then stands around and sort of admiring his work and gets poked with a left from Diaz. So Guerrero definitely hitting a little bit harder. He's really got to start spinning this guy, though, on his things. He hit him with something more solid and take him off his game because Diaz continues to move, restart, reload. Stop! Stop! The spots. Do enough to hang him just about every round. And win plenty of them, it seems. He's definitely a headbutt there. Less forward motion from Guerrero this round than in the night. Good point. No push. He has very good pose. There's a little bit of head movement making Guerrero be short. And there he is just slipping those punches by his quickness. Look at he hasn't been hit in about 10, 12 attempts from Guerrero. Stop! Step back, Joe. But is Diaz doing Here enough offensively? Box. Movement from Diaz. But not much punching. Guerrero <laughs> bangs with a left. They've got Diaz's attention. Little baby right hand from Diaz back. He probes to the belly of Guerrero. Stop! Sit back. Close round, I'm going to ask you how you... I know you're asking me. I'm thinking already. All right, I'll give you a little time. Stop! After 10. 